What up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to your problem of the day for pre-algebra, courtesy of Tyler Tarver at tarveracademy.com. Check it out, okay? So, let's look at our problem of the day. Be sure to pause it. I'm going to read the question, and then I'm going to let you try to answer it, and then you hit resume, and then see if you got it right. Here we go. With, without, that means, W-O means without. Without using a calculator, it means no calculators allowed, which point could be radical 3, or square root of 3, or however you want to say it. Okay, and here are your options A, B, C, and D. Okay, so look at the number line, figure out which one you think it is, go. Hit pause. Hit pause. Oh, welcome back. That was nice. <laughs> I took a nap while you were gone. Okay, let's read it again. Without using a calculator, which point could be radical 3? Okay, first thing is we want to look at what can radical 3 be. Alright, so radical 3, that means... Essentially, it's wanting to know what number times itself would equal 3. For instance, you've got, um, let me use a blue marker. We got radical of 1 equals 1, okay? Well, this is going to be bigger than that because 3 is bigger than 1. So we know it's greater than 1. So can we mark any of these out right now? Well, our 1 line's right here. Is there any of these that are less than 1? Yes. That is, and that is. So if you put A or B, go, oh, man, because it's, it's not right, okay? So let's look. Um, we've got the option of what looks like just under 2, and then we've got 3 exactly. Now, before I even go, let's, mm, uh, shh, okay, let's look at one more thing. So we got radical 4. Let's just go just above this. And I picked radical 4 because it's going to be a nice, sweet, simple, solid number, okay? Radical of 4 is... 2, because what times itself equals 4? 2, okay? So, we know that our number is going to be between 1 and 2, isn't it? Because radical 3 is in between those. So, therefore, this is our range we're working with, between 1 and 2. Does this D fit in the range? No, it doesn't. So, get out of here, D. And plus, you probably should have known that 3 wasn't correct, because what's the point of having radical 3 if that equals 3? What, what radical of what number actually equals 3? Radical 9, which is much more than radical 3, okay? So your answer is C through process of elimination. Wow, we had fun this morning or afternoon or during the day, whatever time of day you're watching this. Thanks for watching the problem of the day. Please subscribe, share, and tell your friends. They should. If your teacher's not watching these, give this to your teacher. Y'all can watch it as a bell ringer for class. Shut up, Tyler. Okay. Bye. <laughs>